Tara's sounding amateur when playing piano chords. This video will take you from sounding amateur to pro with just five simple chord patterns. These chord patterns are also inspired by your favorite musicians. So let's get started. While you're watching this video, be sure to grab the freebie. It's going to have the sheet music to every single one of these five chord patterns that's going to help you sound like a pro. All right, chord pattern number one is called the cold play. With our chord patterns, we're gonna start with the most simple to the most complicated. This is the most simple one, but we see it all the time in popular music. I'm gonna break it down for you in a simple chord progression. And that chord progression is going to be C major, G major, A minor, F major, and then back to C major. So let's break it down. All that's happening in this pattern is we are playing eighth notes in our left hand, and basically quarter notes in our right hand. So our right hand is going a little bit slower than our left hand. So both of our hands are gonna to be together on the first beat, and then our left hand's gonna come in again. So it switches together, left hand, together, left hand, together, left hand, like this. And you're gonna play that chord four times in your right hand. One, two, three, Four, then we're gonna to move to the next chord, G major. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then back to C major. So here's that whole pattern. Again, we hear this all the time in popular music, so definitely learn it. All right, chord pattern number two is called the journey. We hear this pattern all the time in popular music. Another great example with that pattern would be Imagine by John Lennon. But again, we hear it all the time, so it's definitely a worthwhile pattern to learn. So let's apply this pattern to our simple chord progression. All that's happening is we're breaking the chord up into different parts. So with the first chord C major, we're gonna start with E and G first, and we're gonna rock from E and G playing at the same time to C. And then we're gonna add our left hand. You can play one note or you can play an octave on C. So we're gonna do that four times. One, two, three, four. Do it with the next chord, G major. This is a really great chord pattern to learn because it's found all over popular music, so definitely learn it. Chord pattern number three is one of my favorites. I'm calling it the Adele. This chord pattern is really just arpeggios. That means that the chord is just broken up into small pieces. Chord pattern number three, the Adele, is found all over popular music because we use arpeggios all the time. And the way Adele is doing it is she's moving up and down this arpeggio. And in case you don't know what an arpeggio is, I recommend watching this video. But basically they're a chord that's broken up into one note at a time. So let's apply this arpeggio pattern to our chord progression. We're gonna start on C and we're gonna move up the notes of the C major chord like this. C, E, G, E, C, E, G, E. So we're just moving up and down. And we're gonna do that four times with this pattern. Two, three, four. And then we'll go down to G major. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, and back to C major. So it might be a little tricky playing an arpeggio at first, so be sure to relax your hands and don't tense up too much. All right, which pattern is your favorite so far? Let me know in the comments below. Moving on to pattern number four. Pattern number four is called the Sarah. You might recognize that pattern from Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. I like to call this pattern kind of a left hand toss and we find this all the time in popular music. So let's apply this pattern to our chord progression. For the beginning, we're gonna play the left hand and the right hand together. We're not tossing yet, so we're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna keep all of my notes really short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play C major, the chord in my right hand. The first time is together. One, two, three, and then I'm gonna toss my left hand. So ready? Together, two, three, left, right, left. So watch that again. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. If you were counting it, you would go like this. One, two, three, and four, and. And then we're gonna move to the next chord. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. All right, that is a very fun chord pattern. And now let's move on to our most complicated or most challenging pattern. And this one is called the Elton. You guessed it, this one is by Elton John. What I just played was the beginning of Your Song by Elton John. Elton John has a very specific style and a lot of what he does is he's playing arpeggios and playing a little bit off of the beat. We call this syncopation in music. So in our pattern, I simplified it a little bit, but it's definitely the most complicated one. I'm gonna apply a syncopated, arpeggiated pattern that kind of reminds me of Elton John. I'm not gonna start on C, I'm actually gonna start on E. So my right hand in this pattern is gonna go like this. All right. E, G, C, together, G, E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So again, I'm coming off of the beat a lot here. One and two and three and four and. Whenever I hold that C and E, that's where our syncopation is or our notes that are falling off of the beat. One and two and three and four and. We're gonna do that with every single chord like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one. All right, listen to it without me counting. And while you're doing this exercise, your fingers you use do matter. So use finger one, two, three. I realize that's a stretch. One, two, three, and then you're gonna have three and five on C and E. One, two, three, three and five, and then roll back to two, one. And do that with every single pattern. Don't forget to download the freebie that has all of the five patterns that we went over in this video today. They all are written on the staff, and in case you can't read music, I did write the notes in as well to help you. So be sure to download that freebie so that you can go from sounding amateur to sounding pro.
Let me know which chord pattern is your favorite in the comments below. Like if this video helped you and be sure to subscribe if you want more videos about how to go from zero to playing your favorite songs in months, not years. And I will see you next time.